Bodies of water hide a lot of things, from lost items to entire villages that existed centuries ago. As the waters recede, these secrets often reveal themselves. From human face carvings to a swamp boat, here are 20 mysterious discoveries found under dried bodies of water. Number 20. Human Face Carvings In 2023, many countries around the globe experienced unprecedented drought. Several countries recorded new all-time lows in water levels, with lakes and rivers across continents receding at an alarming rate. Among the countries that were affected was Brazil, a nation that relies on the winding Amazon River. With the rivers dropped to record lows, local wildlife was affected and some communities that rely on the river's blessings had to resort to other ways to get water. And yet, it seemed like desperation wasn't the only thing that the drought brought. It also revealed secrets hiding beneath the Amazon waters for over 2,000 years. Researchers discovered ancient faces in a part of the Amazon known as Panto das Lages, or Place of Slabs. These carvings, known locally as petroglyphs, are thought to have been created by indigenous tribes hundreds if not thousands of years ago. With the petroglyphs becoming more and more visible, archaeologists were given a chance to study the settlers that stayed close to the Amazon thousands, even millions of years ago. While archaeologists celebrated the emergence of these petroglyphs, over 633,000 people were affected by the severe drought, with 59 out of 62 municipalities being placed under a state of emergency. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. 180 Million Year Old Sea Dragon In January 2021, researchers discovered something unexpected in the Rutland Water Nature Reserve in the East Midlands, England. Initially, the lagoon was drained for the conservation team to do some landscaping. While working, they stumbled upon what they thought were large pipes. However, these pipes turned out to be the vertebrae of an ichthyosaur. A creature resembling something between a modern dolphin and a fierce crocodile, the ichthyosaur was among the most mysterious creatures that roamed our oceans, having earned the nickname Sea Dragon. The discovery came as a shock to many, including the paleontologists who were called to the scene. The said creature measured about 10 meters long, or about 33 feet, with its skull weighing approximately a ton. Its size alone makes it a spectacular example of prehistoric life. What's more, its level of preservation was also remarkable. It was so well preserved that its remains include not just the bones, but also outlines of the skin, giving us a chance to look at what the creature looked like when it roamed the ancient seas, a time when the ichthyosaur was among the top predators ruling the ocean, with their sleek bodies and conical teeth that are perfectly designed for catching squid and fish. Number 18. Ancient Buddhist Statue in China in the summer of 2022, the relentless heat and severe drought affected the Yangtze River, the longest river in Eurasia and the third longest in the world. This body of water, spanning about 3,915 miles, is also known as the longest river in the world to flow entirely within one country. And yet, that year's immense heat reduced the Yangtze's water level drastically, to a level that alarmed the nation. As the world watched on, however, an unexpected discovery arose from within the Yangtze. Three 600-year-old Buddhist statues previously submerged, particularly on the Foye Liang Island Reef. Experts believe these statues date back to the late Ming and early Qing dynasties and have been submerged for centuries, only revealing themselves whenever the water levels permit it. One of these statues strikingly depicts a monk meditating serenely upon a lotus petal, a powerful symbol in Buddhism one of the three main philosophies and religions of ancient China. Although alarmed, countless citizens traveled to the exposed Buddha statues to pay their respects, with many believing that the elusive statues have brought blessings along them. This unexpected discovery wasn't simply a significant archaeological and historical find, but temporarily, it served as a symbol of hope for many in the nation during extreme drought. Number 17. Goliath the Giant Tadpole Tadpoles are usually between 1.3 to 4.2 inches. With that being their average size, imagine expert surprise when they discovered Goliath, now known as the largest tadpole we've ever found. 
This creature is so large that you wouldn't even think it's a tadpole at first glance. Discovered in 2018 in the Chiricahua Mountains of Arizona in a pond that's about to dry up, Goliath almost looks like a fish with a staggering size of 10.1 inches, over two times larger than the largest tadpoles. For better comparison, imagine a tadpole the size of a soda can. But that's not the only thing that makes Goliath bizarre. You see, tadpoles undergo metamorphosis to become frogs. That's basic science. We've learned about the life cycle of frogs as early as grade school. And yet, Goliath defied the usual cycle followed by frogs. You see, Goliath remained the same. When researchers expected the tadpole to turn into a frog, he remained the same. Researchers theorized that perhaps a hormonal imbalance may have prevented him from undergoing this transformation. He lived out his days at the Southwestern Research Station, where scientists studied him further to understand the peculiarities of his condition. It's still astounding that despite being a tadpole and never advancing to its next stage in life, Goliath still lived until 2019. Number 16. Spanish Stonehenge Among the countries affected by the brutal summer of 2022 was Spain. Caceres in particular saw an unexpected side effect of the country's worst drought in decades, a prehistoric stone circle beneath the depths of the Valdecanas Reservoir. Officially named the Dolmen of Guadalperal, this prehistoric stone circle consists of about 150 megaliths. It dates back to the 4th and 5th millennium BC, potentially making it thousands of years older than its famous British counterpart. Now, despite renewed public interest, the Spanish Stonehenge was first discovered by German archaeologist Hugo Obermeyer in 1926, thinking there'd be more time to study the dolmens. It was largely left alone by experts. Unfortunately, in 1963, dictator Francisco Franco ordered the area to be flooded to give way to a rural development project. The establishment of the reservoir entirely hid the Spanish Stonehenge, and ever since, it has only shown itself several times on rare occasions when the water levels recede. Its appearance in 2022 got archaeologists scrambling to study the dolmens. Local stakeholders, including tourism operators and historical associations, have been encouraged by the resurgence of interest in the site, prompting calls to relocate the stones to preserve them and make them more accessible for educational and cultural purposes. Unfortunately, the risk of destroying the dolmens is far more pressing. And so, the Spanish Stonehenge was left alone, destined to be submerged in its watery grave once again. Number 15. Important Phone Usually, when you drop something in a body of water, it's as good as gone. But I guess if you have special privileges, you can easily try to find a way to retrieve whatever you dropped in the water. Like, say, drain an entire reservoir. No, I'm not even joking. This occurred in Kankar District in India in 2023. That's pretty recent, so perhaps some of you guys have already heard about this incident. For those who haven't yet, this is how it unfolded. That year, Rajesh Vishwas, a 32-year-old food inspector of Chattisgarh's Kankar District, dropped his brand new Samsung Galaxy S23 in a reservoir. Initially, he sought the help of local divers to retrieve the phone, but when this failed, he resorted to using a diesel pump to drain the reservoir. Yes, you heard that right. Over the span of three days, millions of liters of water were pumped out, which under normal circumstances would have been enough to irrigate about 1,500 acres of farmland during a scorching Indian summer. Naturally, this caused many residents to become upset. The local authorities were quick to respond, resulting in Vishwa's suspension for misusing his official position and for the unauthorized act of draining the dam. This action was deemed illegal under local laws and led to a penalty for Vishwa's. Like, come on, I know phones these days cost an arm and a leg, but I don't think that warrants destroying the livelihood of people and the local environment. This incident makes you wonder just what exactly was stored in that phone. Number 14. A Sewer Monster have you ever wondered just what's lurking in sewers? Probably not. There shouldn't be anything interesting down there, right? Sewer engineers discovered otherwise. In 2021, they captured this video while doing a routine survey in a sewer. Observe. Did you see it? Let's watch that again one more time. As you can see, not far from the distance was a bizarre creature that didn't look like any animal we know. So then, what was it? 
What creature could survive in the sewers that resembled a cryptid? Any theories? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 13. Centuries Old Town Recently, Southeast Asia has been experiencing severe heat waves, with countries like India, Thailand, Indonesia, and the Philippines seeing dangerous and record-smashing heat waves, along with class suspensions, a spike in heat-related illnesses, and the collapse of power grids are the receding water levels across the region. As the waters reach all-time lows, however, secrets that have been hidden begin revealing themselves. One of the most notable is the remnants of a once vibrant community with deep historical roots dating back 300 years ago. This discovery was found in the heart of Nueva Ecija, Philippines, in the depths of the Pantabangan Dam. This community was submerged in 1973 to facilitate the dam's construction, and as years passed by, the area became known for the reservoir instead of the town that once stood there. This recent re-emergence marks only the fourth occasion the old town has been visible since its immersion, with previous appearances also coinciding with periods of intense drought during El Nino years. Despite the nostalgia brought by the re-emergence of the town, locals recognize the importance of the dam. After all, the Pentabongan Dam is the second largest in Asia and plays a crucial role in the region by generating hydroelectric power and providing irrigation to vast agricultural lands. For the locals, the 300-year-old town of Pantabangan was a necessary sacrifice for the betterment of the region. Number 12. Hunger Stones It seems that people in the 15th through 19th centuries were fond of leaving behind all sorts of marks. One of the most unexpected is the Hunger Stones. Hunger Stones are found primarily along the River Elbe that flows through the Czech Republic through Germany. These stones date back centuries with the oldest legible inscriptions from the early 1600s. Now what exactly are these stones? These stones are ordinary rocks carved by people centuries ago, particularly to warn others about drought. Hunger stones usually contain short messages and phrases like, if you see me, weep. Quite horrifying and alarming, don't you think? These messages are only carved in stones visible when water levels go dangerously low. While we have modern ways to combat famine, and although we've developed ways to produce crops despite drought and heat waves, these hunger stones still show us how chilling it is when nature shows its unforgiving self. Number 11. Nero's Bridge Now, before I get into this next bizarre discovery, let's talk about Nero. Yes, the most infamous emperor of Rome. Nero is known as one of the nastiest rulers of Rome, but modern historians suggest that much of the quote-unquote crazy acts he did stem mostly from exaggeration or are completely fabricated. And so he wasn't really as evil as he was depicted. Was he a good person? Not really, no. But he wasn't as crazy and bloodthirsty as some records suggest. Today, Nero is still remembered for his immense constructions and the infamous fire that ravaged Rome. I guess with a lot of power, you can get away with a lot of things leading you into a rabbit hole of immorality. One of the less problematic things Nero ordered to create was a small bridge that once connected the bustling roads of Rome. Historically, this bridge may have played a role in both civilian and military movements, possibly even in religious processions. For centuries, this bridge has been submerged in water, only becoming visible because of the severe drought that hit Rome, Italy in 2022, the worst drought the nation has faced in 70 years. Unfortunately, historians today claim that, once again, this bridge was poorly built, not because of the materials used or its general structure, but because of how badly it was placed. You see, this bridge was, for some reason, built on a tight bend in a floodplain, making it vulnerable to the river. Over time, the Tiber's shifting currents likely led to the bridge's deterioration and eventual disuse by the 3rd century. Number 10. Temple of Santiago In 2023, locals in Mexico were baffled when the Temple of Santiago became fully exposed. Also known as the Temple of Quechula, this structure has been submerged since 1966, following the reservoir's completion to give way to the Malpaso Dam. Originally, this church was constructed under the guidance of Dominican monks led by Friar Bartolome de las Casas in 1564. It was meant to be a place of worship for the bustling settlement surrounding it. However, plagued by misfortunes, including disease and the eventual abandonment of the area, 
It never reached the population boom its founders envisioned. Its architectural splendor includes walls that soar up to 30 feet, and a bell tower stretching 48 feet high soon fell into ruins. Since it was flooded, the structure re-emerged several times, including in 2002 and 2015, both times caused by severe drought. The church attracts many tourists and curious locals, but each time the church re-emerges, fishermen and farmers are left wondering about their survival, with many relying on the reservoir's waters. Number 9. Wat Nang Bua Yai Temple In 2019, Thailand faced one of the worst droughts in a decade. However, this drought showed them an unexpected discovery that was seen as a silver lining by many locals. A hidden Buddhist temple that was left submerged for over two decades. Located in Lopburi province, this temple has been submerged since 1999 to give way to a dam's construction. However, that year, the reservoir was brought down to a mere 3% of its overall capacity, which exposed this unexpected spectacle. Naturally, many began flocking to the once-submerged temple to pay their respects. Among these visitors are former residents who reminisced about their past homes. Monastics and lay Buddhists also came to pay respects, particularly to a headless Buddha statue adorned with robes and other holy objects. This statue, along with stone pillars, shrines, and elephant sculptures, gave hope to the locals as the drought continued to affect the nation. Number 8. Brain-Eating Amoeba Have you heard about the brain-eating amoeba? Surely this will deter you from exploring shallow and warm waters, especially during the summer. You see, with the presence of this organism, a simple trip down to the lake could pretty much mark the end of your life. Also known as the Negleria fowleri, the brain-eating amoeba is a single-celled organism that thrives in warm freshwater environments and soil, often finding an ideal habitat in bodies of warm water, such as lakes, rivers, and inadequately maintained swimming pools. Before I tell you anything else, let me clarify that being affected by this organism is incredibly rare, with an incredibly small number of reported infections. However, it's mostly fatal, and only 4 out of 157 people have survived. So how does this horrifying organism affect a person? First, water has to get into your nose. If, by chance, water-carrying brain-eating amoeba enters your nostrils, there's a chance for this organism to migrate to your brain where it would cause primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, leading to the destruction of brain tissue. This condition progresses rapidly, and symptoms escalate from mild headaches and fever to severe neurological issues like seizures and hallucinations, often resulting in death within about five days after symptoms begin. Most people who experience symptoms of this infection dismiss it as a common cold or flu, and by the time they experience more severe symptoms, it's already too late. Again, this amoeba has adapted to thrive at high temperatures, up to 46 degrees Celsius, or around 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Cases are also extremely rare, but hey, if you've seen a rise in temperature, you might not want to take your chances in shallow and receding bodies of water. Number 7. Lake Taps Lake Taps in Washington is one of the most historical bodies of water in Washington. Originally, Lake Taps was constructed as a Puget Sound Energy power generation project, but when it stopped producing power in 2009, its ownership was transferred to the Cascade Water Alliance. In 2015, it was drained for maintenance, and what people found within its depths was quite unexpected. The remains of a forgotten forest were discovered, with dead tree trunks still rising from within the ground. Along with the underwater forest were the remains of a train trestle initially constructed in 1910. It's quite eerie to see what was truly lying beneath the lake's waters. Number 6. Lake Tower Lake Grishesne, nestled in the South Tyrol region of Italy, is an artificial lake created in the 1950s. As you might have already guessed, the creation of this artificial lake led to the flooding of a settlement, particularly the village of Graun including its historic 14th-century church. The story of Lake Reshesne began in 1939 when the Monte Catini Company planned to unify two natural lakes, Reshesne and Mittersee, into a deeper lake to generate hydroelectric power. This project was met with strong resistance from the local community, as it meant the submergence of cultivated lands and homes. Despite protests, 
The plan proceeded, and in 1950, the villages of Graun and parts of Rishen were flooded, displacing many families and submerging 163 houses and 523 hectares of cultivated land. For a long time, the only visible reminder of the village that once thrived here is the church's steeple, which juts out of the lake's surface and becomes accessible by foot when the lake freezes over in winter. In 2021, however, the ruins once again appeared completely due to maintenance work that required the drainage of the lake. For the first time in decades, the locals saw the village ruins again. Number 5. Komune In 2022, Extreme drought in Iraq allowed archaeologists to excavate and study a 3,400-year-old lost city hidden by the waters of the country's largest reservoir, the Mosul Dam. This ancient city, believed to have been part of the Mitanni Empire that thrived from 1550 to 1350 BC, was revealed as water levels in various bodies of water in the country dropped dramatically. Known as Kamune, this archaeological site was significant to the Mitanni Empire's heart in northeastern Syria. Here, archaeologists discovered monumental structures such as a palace, a massive fort, and an industrial complex. The structures, built predominantly from sun-dried mud bricks, have withstood the test of time, with fortification walls still standing several meters high. This site also yielded a significant archival discovery over a hundred cuneiform tablets sealed in clay envelopes that are still being studied to this day. Despite the waters reclaiming the ruins once more, archaeologists now have enough records to study until Kamune resurfaces. Number 4. Lost Wedding Ring In 2018, Steve Watts lost something incredibly precious in Marine Lake in Clevedon. By precious, I mean it's an item that even the least sentimental person would treasure an engagement ring. And so, imagine his despair when he accidentally dropped the ring into the lake. For Watts, the ring was as good as gone. And yet, two months later, the lake was drained out for its annual cleaning. Now even then, there was no guarantee that the ring would be discovered. After all, Marine Lake is 15,000 square meters. Imagine finding a tiny ring in that large expanse. Luckily, it seemed like fate was working in Watt's favor as one of the volunteers got the one in a million chance to pick up the ring in the thousands of square meters of lake bed. The volunteers, who were relatively young, handed the ring to Watts without asking for anything in return. Well, those lads were definitely good ones. Number 3. Lost Italian Village Deep in Lake Resia lies the Italian Atlantis, the village of Curon. The ruins of this settlement lie at the foot of the Alps, where Italy meets Austria and Switzerland. Curon was once the home to nearly 900 residents and 160 homes, and yet it was intentionally flooded in 1950 to create a hydroelectric plant, merging two lakes into what is now known as Lake Resia. Seeing photos of this village, it's quite hard to believe that it's beneath the lake. For years, the only visible sign of Curon's existence was the 14th-century bell tower of St. Catherine's Church protruding from the lake. For many, it was a painful reminder of how their homes were reduced into a flooded ruin. However, many have continued visiting this church thanks to the scenic landscape surrounding it and its historical significance. In 2022, however, the phantom of the village of Curon re-emerged as a significant drought hit the nation. With much of the village being exposed once more, visitors and locals scrambled to visit the foundations, stone steps, and remnants of what was once a thriving community. Shortly after, the nation recovered from the drought, and the water again engulfed Curon for perhaps another few decades. Number 2. Intact World War II Bomb In the summer of 2022, on July 25, Fishermen in the receding water of River Po discovered something unexpected. That year, the nation faced the worst drought it had in 70 years, and the water levels led to quite a scary encounter for the locals of the village of Borgo Virgilio. While scouring the receding waters, anglers discovered a U.S.-manufactured bomb that was approximately 1,000 pounds and still equipped with about 530 pounds of explosives. Approximately 3,000 residents in the surrounding areas were evacuated to ensure safety, as military experts and bomb disposal engineers embarked on the high-stakes task of defusing and safely detonating the ordnance. Just to be sure, local air traffic was also halted. 
and nearby roads, railways, and the river itself were closed. The bomb was ultimately transported to a quarry approximately 45 kilometers away, where a controlled detonation was successfully executed. Now, did you know that there are still a lot of undetonated bombs across the globe, particularly in Europe? Germany is a notable example, dealing with thousands of tons of unexploded ordnance. And while they most likely won't detonate unless disturbed, that doesn't eliminate the risk they pose. You see, as they age, the metal casings corrode and the fuses degrade, making them more unstable and sensitive over time. This means it'll be more challenging to defuse them if they're discovered. That's why each time a bomb, or anything that resembles it is found in drained bodies of water, it's treated as a serious and urgent threat. And now, it's time for today's topic. Authorities drained this 200-year-old canal. What happened next shocked the whole world. Imagine a canal that was built in the 1800s. What secrets do you think it holds? In 2000, right at the turn of the century, a 200-year-old canal was drained for the first time. Locals and the authorities were baffled by what they saw. Bikes, mopeds, shopping carts, a toilet, glass bottles, scooters, wheelchairs. These are the bizarre and unexpected items found at the bottom of the canal. However, bottles filled with questionable liquid and human teeth were also discovered. Authorities decided to immediately dispose of the things they found and not try to let their curiosity take over. While some believe these bottles are witch bottles, a protective charm used across Europe in the early centuries, some believe that the bottles are actually cursed objects. Well, the next time I see a bottle in a drained body of water, you'd best believe I'll leave it alone, no matter how interesting its contents look. Number 1. World War II Swamp Boat For our last discovery, here's another unexpected find that revealed itself amidst the drought that hit many countries in 2022. That year, the drought-stricken Lake Mead revealed a reminder of the Second World War, a Higgins landing craft. This boat, which once roamed the vast waters carrying troops or tanks, has emerged from its watery grave. Built by Higgins Industries in New Orleans, these boats were crucial during the D-Day landings at Normandy in 1944. The specific ship found near Lake Mead Marina served a variety of purposes over the years, including surveying the Colorado River before finally being sunk. In its prime, however, this vessel could easily carry a 36-man platoon or a jeep and a 12-man squad at a reliable speed of up to 12 knots or 13.8 miles per hour. However, this swamp boat wasn't the only thing that revealed itself from Lake Mead. Waste, other sunken ships, and human corpses were also discovered in its waters. Horrifying, right? So what do you think about these discoveries? Perhaps you know other things discovered in drained bodies of water. If so, feel free to share them in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.